We are heading in now, guys, to week two of Landtober. Get it? October, but it's the full month of Landtober. Yep, that's what we're going with for it. We will have our first NA group uh, go coming up, guys. We just had the European group uh, with Orbit and Sanguine going to be going to Super Regionals from that group. Dignitas and Elevate will have to go through the European gauntlet in order to try to make it to Super Regionals. So, this Group B will have LG, ALG, Eager, and Noble, uh, also known as Randozos, uh, in that particular group. Just like the week prior, the top two people going through uh, the top two teams will go through, that is, the Super Regionals. The bottom two teams here will have to play through the gauntlet in order to try to make it to Super Regionals. Of course, only one team from each region makes it through the gauntlet to attend Super Regionals as the wild card. So you really want to be winning your groups. So let's get started, guys. On Friday, this will be a three-day event. You play every team twice, and you've got two games each time. So four total games. Uh, of everybody versus everybody. We have LG versus Eager, Luminosity, number one seed out of North America. Eager, fifth seeded out of North America. This split, Luminosity looks extremely strong. They had a weak spring split, and it really kicked them up into gear to get ready for the world season. They are expected to be the top team out of this bracket, and I do expect them to do very well. They have a very strong team in the regular season. They did very strongly against Eager. I believe Luminosity only dropped games to Soar and ALG over the previous uh, fall split season. Um, so I, I will expect them to do very, very well. 2-0 to zero, Luminosity over Eager starting off the week. Moving into our next game, we have ALG versus Eager. ALG, fourth seeded uh, out of North America behind LG, Soar, and Denial. This will be an interesting set. ALG having lost to Eager during the regular season, um, although higher seeded, end up winning more games against other people. Uh, it will be interesting to see how much the first set affects Eager. While they will have... Some of the land jitters may be out of the way from getting their first set in. They're also immediately up against LG uh, with an expected 2-0 loss. So coming off that loss, there could be a bit of a tilt happening there. But if Eager does win that first set, this could definitely swing. Given that LG wins the first two games against Eager, I'm going to give this ALG 2-0. But if Eager manages to split or take a set 2-0 over LG, that momentum could definitely change the outcome of game two. Third up, we have Luminosity versus Noble, a.k.a. the Randozos. I think this one will be pretty straightforward. Uh, Luminosity 2-0. Now... For pretty much every game that Randozos are going to be in, it's pretty much going to be a 2-0 to zero situation um, for the team that's going against the Randozos. That's just going to be a pretty safe bet uh, when you're betting on these games. But I do not believe that Randozos are not going to win a single game. I don't think that's all true. I expect the Randozos to pull out at least 2-3 to three wins minimum, um, getting themselves a couple points, but that... The big takeaway from that, though, is which games the Randozos are winning. If you lose to the Randozos one game, that means you're losing two points. And those two points could very well be the difference of you attending Super Regionals and not. So they could be the deciding factor in this group of who they take games off of, whether it be Luminosity, ALG, or Eager. But for now, we've got 2-0 to zero the way of LG. Following up, LG's play again will be ALG. Presumably, Randozos will be coming off of that 2-0 loss, giving them a bit of uh, a bit of tilt, perhaps, going into the second set, immediately having to play it. 
ALG presumably coming off of a loss, uh, a win off of Eager, having just lost to LG prior to that set as well, giving it two to zero the way of ALG. ALG and LG will be a very interesting set, um, depending on how they did in game ga day one, not game one, day one, respectively, could definitely be influenced on how they go against each other this day. In the regular season, they were tied with each other. Luminosity then uh, basically took off throughout the season. ALG had a rough start to the split and then took off later on as well. Uh, Luminosity finding their footing very, very early though in this season. Should be one of the better sets uh, of the event when both these teams go against each other. For now, I've got this going the way of split just the way it was during the regular season. Eager versus Randozos. I do think that that is very much going to be Eager 2-0. to zero. Um, Like I said, pretty much every game with the Randozos in it, I'll be putting 2-0 to zero because I do think it's the safest bet for all of your games. But they will definitely end up splitting some games. I wouldn't necessarily put anything 2-0 to zero Randozos, but it would be pretty safe as well to throw in two or three splits for the Randozos. Next up will be ALG versus the Randozos. Presuming Eager just beat them 2-0. to zero. They may once again be tilted going into face ALG. I've got that 2-0 to zero the way of ALG. Finishing up your Saturday, you've got LG versus Eager. This should be another great game. Now, the difference here is Eager should be coming off of a win off of the Randozos. So they should have some points going for them. They should be getting some momentum going for them. I think that this game has a much better chance of being close than necessarily their first time together because they got a little bit of momentum going. And I'm going to throw that split the way of LG and Eager. Next up, we've got Eager again. 2-0 to zero, Eager over Randozos. Okay, on Sunday. Now, for this next Sunday game, we've got ALG versus Eager. Now, if you look at their path that they've just taken here in the mid portion of this tournament, 2-0 to zero over Randozos, quite possibly a tie with LG since they got the win off of Randozos. Taking that momentum to get another win off of Randozos here, they've got a lot of wins coming into this section, meaning that this Sunday game, which very well could be the deciding factor for this tournament uh, with these heads-up matches, this could very well be split. I'm going to go split between ALG and Eager. They're going to have a lot of momentum coming in from like five or six games of wins right before they go into the Sunday match. Next up, ALG versus Luminosity. ALG will have just played a set, so they are warmed up for the day. Luminosity has not played a set, and they have just recently gotten one of their first losses, I believe, against Eager prior to this. And I'm going to throw this once again the way of split between Luminosity and LG. Finally, finishing up your week, you've got LG and Randozos. I think Luminosity will take that just fine. Finishing up your tournament, we've got LG over Eager, ALG over Eager, LG over Randozos, and ALG over Randozos on Friday. Saturday, LG, ALG split, followed by Eager over Randozos, ALG over Randozos, and the LG Eager split. Sunday, finishing up your games with Eager over Randozos, ALG, Eager split, LG, ALG split, and LG over the Randozos on Sunday. We did pretty decent in our last uh, set, of, set of picks, guys. Uh, the only thing that kind of threw us off was Sanguine did better than we thought. So we will see how this tournament go, guys. Let me know if you're watching on YouTube down in the comments what you think about the picks and who you think is going to be top two out of North America Group B. It's the final countdown. Ba -da -ba 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 -ba